welcome to another video. Excuse the lighting, I'm filming this the night before I'm posting, so um, it's getting dark. Um, this video is going to be days four through seven of our Under the Sea units. Again, if you'd like me to go into any more detail about how we've made anything, do let me know. I'm going to start off with a quick tour of our living room, but there is one new thing that there's a picture of at the end of the pictures um, that I hadn't put up when I did the tour, I think. So I'll get straight in with the tour now and uh, yeah, show you our living so room. I thought I'd give you another whistle stop tour. You've seen our crab, our octopus, <clears throat> our jellyfish, our starfish, our turtles up there, our baby octopus. And yesterday, because she was, we were out, we did a sports day yesterday. So um, I cut out the shape of a a um, seahorse. She's not very much into colouring, so I just said, tell you what, mummy will take yellow and you take blue. So all the blue's her colour and all the yellow's my colour. Um, that's our seahorse and today when she gets home, because we've got the theatre this afternoon, hello, we're going to see Guess How Much I Love You at the theatre. Um, if you look up there, we have a diving penguin. He's diving in, so we'll see if she notices him up there when she gets home, because we read a story about a penguin the other day. So, um, if anyone would like any more details on exactly how I've made these, this, I just drawn a piece of card, and because the card wasn't big enough to do a whole penguin to suspend swimming in the air, I could do his back half and sell it them together and then suspend the back half, um, but at the moment he's just diving in, so you can't see his bottom, bottom half, because he's, um, <laughs> he's diving in above the surface, and I've suspended his head so that he looks like he's at an angle. Uh, but I just drew him and coloured him in. My pencil was running out, that's why he doesn't look quite as black as he should. The seahorse was again card, just colouring in. This thing was pipe cleaners, paper plates, red paint, uh, red tissue paper, and foil and googly eyes. He does have eyes. This was again paper bowls, card, and paper. This was paper plates. Whoa, my husband did the bottom of that. I was going to do it with crepe paper and ribbons, but um, he got to it first and decided to do wool. And this was just a starfish that we got part of our pack that she'd dotted that I put up. But if anyone would like more details on how we've done any of these, um, yeah, give me a comment in the comment below. So, so this is day four. Um, Rosie was in nursery for half the day, so we just did some worksheets in the afternoon. Uh, this is on land or in the sea. Where do they live? She's just sorting them out. Um, we also made a crab uh, with her handprints. Um, and I'd pre-made a crab to hang from the ceiling uh, for her to have a look at. So that's her handprint crab with googly eyes. And then my crab. That I, oh, no. This is a worksheet for uh, a crab that I did just for the different parts. Just because we, we watch a little YouTube video every time we do an animal. And she's just labelling it there. I tell her what the words are and she puts them in the right place. And then, yep, yeah, there's my crab. Um, it's, again, it's two plate paper bowls, crepe paper, wound round a knitting needle, pipe cleaners. And there's our board with the extra bits on that we've done so far. Uh, there's a couple more bits now, though. Uh, there's our seahorse. This was day five, so this was the Thursday. We had a sports day this day, so we didn't get an awful lot done. But there was a big one to hang from the ceiling and a little one that she decorated to go on the board. And then I've included some of our sports day pictures. Um, we we did want to kind of organise it in a... They're doing races way, but the, the, the little ones were just so excited to just play with all the equipment. Run around with the cones, stack the cones and stuff that we just thought, you know what... They're made to sit down, line up in schools and stuff. Whereas right here, they can they end they ended up racing each other. They just they did it in their own time. And they did they had fun with the different things. That's her and her one of her friends having a little race around the cones. Although Rosie did decide to straddle them half the time. Um, they're playing with some hoops. They had some hoops, bean bags to throw in the hoops, some cones. They had a tunnel. One lady brought a tunnel. Um, and one that one brought a kite as well. So there's a couple of pictures of her. Yeah, there's Rosie taking a nap in the tunnel. Uh, I I bought a plastic egg and spoon race thing that the kids really loved playing with. They didn't race as such. 
I think a couple of them raced us as parents as we persuaded them to do it, but nothing more. That's Rosie in the background trying to run with the kite, but bless her, she couldn't run fast enough to get it up. Um, this was uh, yesterday, which would have been day six. Uh, we went to the theatre to see Guess How Much I Love You. Um, so yeah, this is our theatre selfie. And then I said, should we include the bunny? So we included the bunny. Um, yeah, it was a lovely little show. Rosie really, really enjoyed it. Makes you feel very mushy as a mum. Uh, this is her doing one of her... She was she was drawing pictures of different things that she'd seen so far. This is our turtle. It's hanging from our ceiling now, a new addition. I made this yesterday as well. So this was day six. Um, suspended. And then day seven today... Oh no, day six, I, I added the shark so that she could see it in the morning. I added it in the evening, in the morning, she saw that. Because day seven today is a shark one, but I added a mermaid to our ceiling. Um, so her she tails it, and her it. hands and her head. Where's the art book? Where's the You're going to read it out loud to me. Come and see the... Huh? Come and see the... What? Bloody fish. It's a big library book. And it's the right size library book for you, isn't it? What's after the blenny fish, Babs? What's the blenny fish? Blenny fish. Come and see the anemone. The anemone. Anemone. Come and see the goby fish. Nope. I can't turn the page, Bobby. That's it. Daddy, turn the page. Come and see the... Spider crab. Come and see the... Hermit crab. Good girl. Just put your hand away. Okay. I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to this cushion. Okay, you're done reading, are you? You've, that's the third time you are reading it, so well done. And Paul and Steve and Bessel. Come and see the sponge. Come and see the butterflies. Come and see the snake. Come and see the limpet. Come and see the prawn. Come and see the gunner. Come and see the cuttlefish. Good girl. Come and see the lobster. Come and see the sea spider. Come. What's this one? Around. What plant do you find in a rock pool, Bab? Yeah. A strawberry, a snowdrop, or seaweed? What do you find? Seaweed. Yeah. What am I? Yeah, I have five or six arms. I'm in the shape of a star. I don't have a tail and I have a mouth in the middle of my body. What am I? A star. Good girl. Well done. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said at the start, if you'd really like to see how we made anything in particular, do give a comment below and I'm happy to attempt to do a walkthrough of how we made some bits. Um, especially the paper bowl ones, but it's it's not hard, honestly. Most of them are held together with... You could probably use something different. We've used split pins just to hold the things together. And I'm going to be very sad at the end of this week because I don't know what to do with them. And I don't just want to throw them in the bin. So um, I might offer them around some friends or even her nursery. I'm not sure how. We don't have the space to store them. So, yeah, be sad when we have to get rid of them. But it's dinosaurs next. So, yeah, if you like these videos, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Um, and if you'd like to see more of our units, then um, especially the crafts, because the little ones love crafts. I haven't shown many of her worksheets because she's not been too interested in doing them. And when she does do them, she tends to do them all in one go. Um, I just leave them on her desk and she tends to just plough through all the like proper written ones, tracing the lines, counting numbers, stuff. She just tends to plough through them in one day, like at the end of the week. She just sits down and thinks, OK, I'll do these on my desk now. So, yeah. So, yeah. Again, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. It's Tata from me and Tata from the Rosie Bear.